on this absolutely gorgeous day here at Canyon Lake Park. I'm here with Hans Stephenson, uh, avid fly fisherman, yes. owner of the uh, Dakota Angler, yes. and board member of the Black Hills Fly Fishers, right. which is a organization of volunteers. It's nonprofit, it's yep. volunteers. And the purpose of the Black Hills Fly Fishers, as I understand it, is to maintain the, uh, the fishing habitat here in the Black Hills. That's correct. Yeah, since 1980, it's been a group of volunteer fly fishers who've kind of dedicated kind of the vision of the organization to maintaining the quality of the habitat that we have here in the Black Hills. You know, and that includes water quality as well, yeah, right? Yeah. Yep. Water quality and in-stream habitat. Anything that you know keeps our fisheries healthy. You know, it's obviously a group of fly fishermen that want to see um, you know the trout fisheries be as healthy and, and good as possible I mean we want the fishing to be good yes. and for the fishing to be good you have to have good water quality and good stream habitat so why don't you tell us a little bit about what the uh, Black Hills fly fishers has done in the past so we've been involved in a lot of cooperative projects you know almost all of our projects you know take the cooperation of the game fishing parks and the forest service and you know those projects tend to be you know habitat type projects where we're giving money but also participating in terms of the planning and kind of direction of the projects but rapid creek we've done a number of projects, most recently below Pactola Reservoir. I believe our club committed somewhere in the neighborhood of $50,000 to that wow. project. Wow. And you know, we've been involved in similar efforts on you know Rapid Creek here in town, Spring Creek, Spearfish Creek. Rapid Creek here in town, that's where I fly fish the most. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed you got these big rocks in yep. the creek. Now, yep. Those are stations, resting stations basically for the trout, is that right? Yep, definitely. You know, you put in that in-stream habitat like rock placements and it gives, um, you know, both some depths some cover but also a place for fish to hold behind where the current isn't quite as strong and just creates additional habitat for the fish. And anything in the future? Any any uh, projects in the not too distant future? Yep, we've got projects uh, coming up uh, below Pactola. Another phase of that project is coming up. Hopefully we'll break ground this fall. We've got a project on Castle Creek below Deerfield that we're working on to fence out cattle so that the, the stream banks can recover a little bit in that uh, situation. And then we also have a big project on the books for Spearfish Canyon. Uh, just um, you know, seven, eight miles upstream of Spearfish. Hopefully we'll also be breaking ground in the next year or two. And once again, uh, the Black Hills uh, Fly Fishers, they're volunteers. Yes. They volu I mean, there's a fee to join the group. So if you are a fly fisherman here in the Black Hills, think about joining the Black Hills Fly Fishers. Most definitely. You know, I, I don't know of any other organization in the Black Hills that's putting forth um, the type of money and time uh, to, to maintain the quality of what we have here. And if we don't maintain it, then we're not gonna see that quality of fishery continue into the future. Okay, anything else that you could think of, Hans? Just stress, it's really important to get involved because without that involvement, it doesn't, it, it could go away. And, and we wanna see it last. You know, I've got kids and I wanna see the yes. fishery to be just as good when they're my age uh, as it is for me now. Okay, thanks a lot, Hans. Yeah. Appreciate you taking the time. Oh, you're